Hey guys, Kurt here with NK Garage again, and today we're gonna go pick up a small little uh, Craftsman tool chest, comes with some various pieces, but uh, it's local to me and the price seemed pretty good, so I figured why not pick it up and while we're out, we're gonna try to find some tag sales. Also got my father again with me today. I had a salami sandwich for breakfast, so I'm all set, let's go. All right, he's got his salami sandwich, he's ready to go, ready to hustle that little tool chest <laughs> all right well we'll keep you guys in the loop later on uh what's inside all right guys so we uh we're leaving the house right now and um got my uh father here he wanted to drive my car check it out <laughs> did you did you yeah we're show gonna get that? To that we got the toolbox in the back with tools with tools yeah it's not a uh, big box it's just a little small uh craftsman like mobile like mechanics chest but it's got the, the um okay. the three drawers and the fold open top and it's got some tools in it so you know i only paid 35 dollars for it that's what he was asking and um it seems to be a good deal something to uh you know give you give me something to do later you know something a little fun and um, yeah, so we'll get back, we'll take a look at the tools and I'll go over, um, you know, values of everything and uh, show you guys that later on. We're gonna try to hit a tag sale on the way home. We saw a sign on the way, so maybe we'll pick something up there too, maybe not, but we'll see. All right. Hey guys, so I uh, dropped my dad off before, but um, I got home, I had some lunch, and then I saw on Facebook there is a moving sale and they have a uh, Craftsman USA made uh, mechanic set. So I'm gonna head over there, take a look at what they got, and take a look at the tools. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at everything. All right, see you guys soon. Hey guys, Kurt here with NK Garage again, and it's time to take a look at those tools that we picked up. So I'm going to be showing you guys the red uh, Craftsman small little tool chest that I picked up with my dad, as well as some stuff I picked up at a tag sale later in the same day. So let's take a look. All right, so here we have a uh, vintage Craftsman. It's got uh, three drawers and the uh, clip open top here. It's in that nice vintage red color. It's uh, not too old, but definitely not new. And um, these boxes are kind of cool. And it came with tools. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, like right down the road from me. Um, I messaged the guy because I figured, you know, why not? Let me go see what it's about. And it was $35. So like, I mean, come on. $35. This is my hobby. I think I could probably get that much for just the box. So went over there and said, you know what, let me go look at it. Let me go see what's inside. So um, I separated the stuff already. Everything's still in here, but I put all of what I consider like the higher grade stuff on top and then like the junky stuff in the bottom drawer. I just want to show you guys like the box is in pretty decent shape for its age. Ain't, certainly ain't brand new, but um, it's nothing wrong with it really. I mean, it's got like a couple scratches and like a little bit of like surface rust, but other than that, I mean, it holds tools and it works. So um, we got this vintage, you know, chrome uh, Craftsman tape measure. Doesn't look like anything crazy, but there are actually people, I saw sold comps on eBay, they will pay like $26 for this thing. So, you know, people get really particular about their tools, so... You never know what might actually be worth money and what might not be worth money, but somebody out there is looking for this style Craftsman tape measure. Um, some other stuff we got in here. A set, well, most of a set of these vintage Mac wrenches. These things are really cool. This, is the, this one here is the Mac C13. It's a one inch wrench. And on the back, it has the Sabina Ohio USA stamp. So these are really old i'm not sure exactly how old these are i'm not like a huge like mac guy but i know that people do kind of like collect this stuff so there i think there's five of them so i'll lay them out here and they're actually in pretty decent shape they definitely have like some surface rust but this was back before they were putting chrome on the tools i think i'm not entirely sure but i think Sears was actually the first company to start chrome plating their tools and this looks like this was before then so it's just it's still probably chrome vanadium steel but it's not plated 
and um, these tools just need to be cleaned up but they look like they're in really good shape and we have five pieces out of the set here we have the c6 which is 9 sixteenths we have ch8 which is 11 sixteenths we have the c10 which is 13 sixteenths the c11 which is 7 eighths and the c13 which is one inch so i think i'm going to put these in a lot after i clean them up i don't think it'll take a lot of work to get these cleaned up um and put them up on a lot on ebay and it looks like people pay about fifty dollars for that set so that was pretty cool to find like i said i'm not a huge mac guy but um definitely cool i'm gonna have a lot of fun cleaning those up and i'm sure somebody will enjoy them here we have one of my favorites six inch crescent wrench made in usa it's the cresto loy steel this is just funny. All the companies back then were renaming their alloys, but they're all using the exact same stuff. Um, but it's a good wrench. It's like barely used. It, it's in really nice shape. So, um, you know, I shouldn't have a problem reselling this. I really want to keep it. But on something smaller like this, I kind of have to push some sales to kind of recoup the money. And that's something that I think would sell rather fast. So it's just a six inch for adjustable wrenches, I usually use more like an 8, 10, and 12 inch. Um, so I could probably part with that. Here we have a uh, Barcolo Buffalo 3 quarter inch combination wrench. Another old tool. Uh, nothing crazy, but it is an old piece of tool history. So it was cool to find. The guy I bought this from, he said it was his uh, stepfather's tools. I guess the guy passed away. He got this box and um, he went through it and took out some stuff that he wanted and uh, he left everything else behind but um it still had enough in there to make it worth my time and like i said i got you know i i have fun with this stuff here's three sk wrenches we have got the uh 15 16 by one inch sk tools double open wrench uh we have a seven millimeter and a one quarter inch wrench here all usa made all good tools those will get sold individually on ebay nothing crazy but you know it uh it all adds up over time so this one was pretty cool this is a craftsman quarter inch drive ratchet with the quick release button it's a v series number 43186 uh nothing crazy but you know it's a nice ratchet and with the condition it's in and like the push button works great uh the ratchet you know cranks great it seems like it's got light use comps on that on ebay are like 30 dollars here we got um I think what was the only piece of snap-on tools in the box, but it was cool to find. It's a 3 8 by 7 16 offset double box wrench, six point. It's uh, you know, an older one. It has the older snap-on underline logo as they call it, but it's in excellent, excellent shape. So I'm sure somebody out there is looking for that wrench. Probably have to complete a set. Here we got uh, two her brand wrenches i love getting her brand stuff um you know nothing crazy but they are desirable and there's a lot of people out there looking to collect her brand tools so they've actually been really happy customers have left like amazing reviews when they uh, sell her brand stuff so i always make sure to try to get something for those kind of guys out there who are looking to uh, pick up those her brand tools this is just a true craft made in japan wrench Nothing crazy, 14 by 15 millimeter, but again, I love offering people the ability to fill those uh, sets with missing pieces. So I bet you, you know, throughout the whole, you know, United States, there's got to be somebody out there that needs this wrench. And if I'm able to supply that for them at a reasonable cost, you know, makes me happy, makes them happy, and it makes me some money. So here we have SW Drop Forged in England. It's a Fed spec Lyman's pliers never seen these before but um it's cool to see stuff made in england they're in pretty good shape just need a little bit of a cleaning and they'll be going on ebay there's just a nice little level it's a johnson's level and tool it's older but I tested it and it works so can't complain with that and that concludes the top drawer so those were all of the um what i consider the good picks out of the box uh, this is all stuff that I say would be worth selling individually on eBay. Like, I'm going to set the Mac wrenches in a, in a lot, but even if I wanted to, I could sell them all individually, and it would actually turn a profit even after paying shipping and fees. 
so we got two empty drawers and in the bottom this is just miscellaneous stuff that came with it still good tools but these will go into my auction lots that i do uh, every few weeks i put up a uh, large priority mail flat rate box and i shove it full of uh, tools and i either call it a mechanics tool lot or a handyman tool lot depending on the uh depending on really what's in there but we have this crowbar in the back it's got no brand names on it or anything but doesn't mean it's not a bad crowbar we have an uh, unbranded ratchet but it works um a couple of unbranded wrenches but they're made in usa and hey somebody could use them we have a husky um lineman's pliers it's a chinese made one but and um another set of uh Ox wall, Taiwan, drop forward cutting pliers, various sockets, tape measure, a couple of wrenches, sheetrock saw, just various pieces. But this is the kind of stuff that I put in those um, tool lots. This is kind of more of like the handyman related stuff, like the mechanics tools. Like I get a lot of brake, brake flaring tools that are just no name brands, no name, you know, pulling tools, puller tools, jaw puller, stuff like that. Um, various random like service tools that don't have name brands so it's hard for me to market them to get people to buy them so I throw them in the lot and I put enough in there that it makes up a good enough value that somebody will be worth their while to pay the flat rate shipping of the box plus whatever it gets bid up to I usually throw the no name screwdriver brands in there too pliers all of it so that was that and then later in the day I saw a Facebook Marketplace ad, somebody had this toolkit up for sale, and I go nuts for these Craftsman Made in USA toolkits, and believe it or not, inside, it is 100% complete. I mean, it's been used, but every single piece is here. Every single uh, screwdriver bit up here, we have the multi-bit screwdriver, it comes with a quarter inch and three eighths ratchet, and everything in here is USA made. So, um... I was happy to pick this up, and it's going to be going up on eBay, so I paid $50 for it, which seems kind of high, but these things sell for a decent amount of money, so if I can make a little bit of money, and uh, I know these things are hard to find, so I'm hoping to get a good price for it on eBay. Then, when I was at their house, they were having a tag sale, so I looked around and I picked up these two toolboxes. Nothing crazy inside at all, really. I didn't pay a lot of extra money for these. I kind of just picked them up because I was there. Random hardware, but here's two Stanley tape measures. They work. Uh, made in USA. A pair of newer vice grips. I'm not really a fan of the newer ones, but, um, I mean, they work. You know, at least this vice grip brand. I, I have a, a thing for the vice grips, so. Quarter-inch spinner, Craftsman USA. Um couple Craftsman screwdrivers, a couple Stanley screwdrivers. I think the bottom of this bin was just all hardware. Yeah, it's all random. But, you know, I was there. Eh, a couple tools there, so some of that stuff might go in those auction lots, like I said, and some of it might just be for me, and some of it just might be for eBay. Um, this one has a 10-inch Craftsman adjustable wrench. That was kind of cool. Um, there's some blades for the uh, box cutters, putty knife, bunch of various cheap wood chisels like brand new uh, a couple more screwdrivers there's the box knife slip joint pliers and there's a couple hammers down here various things of drill bits and whatnot um, nothing crazy you know it really it's just a couple hammers um, the rest of this is just kind of junk like this is just like a really junky like it looks like a wire stripper but I don't see anything on here that can strip wires so I'm not really sure what that is. Yeah, you know, I was there, so I picked it up. Nothing crazy, but that concludes today's haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you, guys.